Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I want to show you how you can mix uh, Java and Kotlin inside your Android project. So basically here we have one text view and two buttons, uh, one for Java and the other for Kotlin. So here in main activity I'm going to uh, initialize those elements. Alright, and I'm going to find the ID of those uh, three elements as well. So basically uh, what we want to do, uh, we want to add the onclick listener for those two buttons. And for Java button, uh, we want to create a method uh, which will change the text view to something like hello from Java. And uh, that method will be located here in Java class. And for the other button, uh, we're going to create a new Kotlin class. And we're going to create a new method uh, which will change the text view uh, the same as uh, the first button. So you're going to see how we can mix our, uh, our Android uh, Studio project uh, to use and uh, both uh, Kotlin and Java. So here I set uh, two click listeners for our buttons and uh, in this main activity I'm going to create the hello from Java method and I'm going to pass a text view parameter. So basically I'm just going to set the text to our text view to hello from Java. Uh, and I'm going to call this method inside the Java button. Okay. And uh, now we're going to create a new class, a Kotlin class. Uh, but before that I want to rearrange uh, or organize my project a little bit more. So uh, I will create uh, two packages. So the first package uh, will be called Java. And here uh, we will store our um, main activity. Oh sorry not that but main activity Java. Just click refactor. Alright. And we're going to create a new, uh, new package called uh, Kotlin. And inside this package we're going to create a new class Kotlin class. Alright, so click new Kotlin file or class and we're going to name this class uh, Kotlin file. Alright, so uh, don't be scared if you don't know uh, uh, Kotlin syntax. Uh, I will uh, explain uh, that uh, in details in the future videos, but for now just, uh, just watch. So we're going to use a class keyword to create a new Kotlin class and uh, we're going to create a new method. So uh, this fun word is short for function. So we're going to create a function named hello from Kotlin and here we're going to pass text view uh, the same as we did for Java button. So uh, this time as you can see first we are typing the name of the uh, this uh, parameter and then the type. And now I'm going to create a new uh, variable. As you can see val keyword is basically uh, the same as final in uh, Java uh, programming language. So we're going to create a new variable uh, my text and it will be a string type and it will say hello from Kotlin all right and now uh, uh, and uh, as you might notice uh, we don't need a semicolon at uh, the end of the line which is a great thing so now basically we are setting the text view text to our uh, new text so let's uh, call this uh, initialize our class Kotlin class inside the uh, on click listener for Kotlin button. So we initialize a class like uh, every other in Java. And we're going to use that uh, object to call the method uh, hello from Kotlin. And we're going to pass a text view as you can see. And now let's run our application to see how uh, those two compile together. All right. So uh, let's first click on Java button. As you can see, it works. and for Kotlin it works as well so basically uh, this is an amazing thing so uh, if you are new to Kotlin or, or uh, you are not familiar with uh, Kotlin syntax you can slowly adapt to Kotlin by uh, creating a simple Java project in your Android studio and slowly uh, step by step uh, adapt to Kotlin by creating uh, for example just one simple class and call that class inside your Java activity and uh, anything else so in the my uh, future videos I'm going to show you uh, a little bit more uh, about uh, Kotlin basic uh, stuff like variables, functions and so on. And that would be it for this video. See you in the next one.